What's up everyone, it's this guy. Today I'm doing a video on a weather guard cargo mat for the back of my wife's 2018 RAV4. Now this would be applicable to any RAV4s between 2013 and 2018. Now here's the thing about a RAV4. It's got an amazingly large cargo capacity. That's why we bought it, because we put a lot of crap back there. Maybe we're going to the beach, uh, maybe we're gonna go out for the afternoon, put some ice chests in there. Maybe we're gonna go do like some yard work for my father-in-law. You know, maybe I'm gonna go change somebody's oil or maybe I'm just gonna dig a hole. You never know. So having a really big cargo area in the back of a RAV4 is both a blessing and a curse because you can put a lot of crap back there, but a lot of crap tends to leave a lot of like residue. For example, you put an ice cooler back there, they leak water. It's gonna leak water all over your carpet. And we've already had a lot of issues with our RAV4 where we have a lot of contaminants already in the carpet. You gotta take that carpet out or replace it. Well, we're not gonna have that issue anymore with this. So this particular floor mat is made by a company called Medasisi, Medasasi. Uh, sorry, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but uh, it's an Amazon seller. And I'm gonna walk you through the installation process, pretty simple. Now, once we're done with the install, which will be really easy, I'm gonna put it through a test. And I'm gonna call it the Kool-Aid test. Kool-Aid tends to be the nemesis of car carpets. It's always been that way. You bring Kool-Aid into the car, it's gonna spill. So today we're gonna do the Kool-Aid test after the installation to see how much Kool-Aid this floor mat can take before it overflows. By the way, my wife is not home. She's at the gym. She's not aware I'm doing this. So don't anybody tell her that I'm pouring Kool-Aid into her car. So in case you're wondering, this is what it looks like before I installed the mat. And you can tell there's a lot of debris back here. I do vacuum it from time to time, but it is pretty messy. So when I got it from Amazon, it came in a long square box. I pulled it out and it was kind of tubed like this. It's all held together with a zip tie. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that thing when we do the install. I keep saying install, but it's, it's really not. I mean, we're basically just gonna cut the zip tie off and unroll it into the back of the car. Super simple. Don't mind the camera work here. I've got a tight space to shoot in and I'm kind of getting in the way. You're basically gonna unroll it and just kind of like fit it into your cargo area. Now there are gonna be hooks in the back of your RAV4, at least in the back of mine. So you wanna make sure you, you just wanna make sure that the mat isn't covering them up. Here's another shot. You're gonna unroll it and kind of tuck it into the edges. And again, there's hooks. So you wanna verify that the hooks are on the top side of the mat. I think pretty self-explanatory. Now because it came rolled, it's kind of curved up in these areas here. Now I do know it's gonna level out with the sun, but underneath the mat here, you see these cleats? This is what prevents it from sliding around. I don't think it'll slide around anyways, but it has these little teeth on the underside that'll keep it in place. Another cool thing is that it is flexible. So if you need to access the secret compartment, you know, where you stash your stuff or where the spare tire is at, you can do that pretty easily. And just like that, the air quote install is complete. And again, I know it's a little lumpy. It's gonna be Todd in Texas. The mat will level out and be totally flush. Look, after 20 minutes, it's already starting to level out. Okay, so now that I've gone through all the other stuff, it's time for the Kool-Aid test. Strawberry lemonade. I tend to like it. My kids aren't really a big fan of it. That means I get to waste this. It's very sticky. Uh, we're going to see how much the car mat can hold. And when I'm done, I can just hose it off. That's the other benefit of it. Pull the thing out, hose it off with the hose, let it dry in the sun, we'll put it right back in. Boom, brand new mat. All of a sudden, I feel like I gotta pee really bad. Okay, so I had to abort the test because the floor mat's a little lumpy, just because I just installed it. So like I said earlier, it will level out uh, in the sun. It's nice and hot here in Texas, and so the little lumps that are in there will come out. But I basically was able to pour two-thirds of a pitcher of Kool-Aid all over the back cargo mat and not actually affect my wife's car. Now, had the mat been completely level, I would have probably been able to put the entire thing in there. I wouldn't have panicked. Uh, and also if my driveway was completely level, I'm sure it would have fit the entire picture. The bottom line is though, is if you're using this cargo mat and something spills out, you get a little bit of seepage out of something, you're gonna be golden. Now I did include a link in the description below. If you wanna check it out, it's about half the price of a comparable name brand floor mat. And uh, so far I'm pretty impressed that I was able to get that much fluid onto it. Now I just gotta hose it off, let it dry, put it back in, and again, don't tell my wife. Now here's the plug, if you enjoyed the video, uh, or if you had fun watching it, or if it was helpful to you, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, or even share it. 
Thanks for watching.